to do in design mode for now. So I switch over to manufacture mode. Click on manufacture mode. And I have to make sure of three things. While I'm in manufacture mode, make sure that the machine tool says IntelliTech. That mill on the table over there is an IntelliTech. That's the, the post processor that converts the code for our mill. And we want the code to be for our mill. The initial CPL or the PRZ, we want it to be the top of our part. Make sure that it says that. IntelliTech, MCP, and top, we're set, we're good to go. We say, OK. And again, it's modal. That'll stick until you need to change it. Now we're in manufacturing mode. And if you notice, all our tools up here changed. We had a change of tools. This says sequences now, and I can click on my features. And in my features tab, after I click on it here, if I right click on this, I can see some different operations that I can perform on it. The only operation I want to show you with this tutorial is facing. So we're going to face this block. We're going to take the top part of that block off. So we're going to choose face. Now we're in here, you're going to see all kinds of boxes, things that you can change. Step over tells it how much the tool is actually going to overlap. Lead length, lead radius, stock offset, we can change all this now. Let's not. Let's just leave it. Let EdgeCam figure it out. We go to tooling. All we have to do is pick a tool. Don't change anything because in EdgeCam, when you go to the tool store to find your tool and you select the end mills, and we use a half inch end mill because that's the only end mill we have over here. We don't have a three quarter inch one. Choose the biggest one. Why do we choose the biggest one? It's the easiest. It'll take, go the fastest, right? We click on it. We say select. It selects our tool. It changes all of this information. We go to our depth. And we want our depth to be 0.1. Say OK. And no, look what happened. Look what showed up. If I go back to my sequences, I now see a face mill operation. When I hover over it, I see these dotted lines. What do you suppose those dotted lines are? That's the path that the tool is going to take. So I can go to my rapid result window, and I can click on that. And the rapid result window is, is a brand new program. It's a different program. Um, so I want you to realize that because once you open this, you want to close it when you're done. All right, otherwise you'll get many windows open. And in the past, we've had problems with it crashing the computer. So after you're done verifying it, watch this. Click on Start. It will machine your part. You can change the speed up here. Uh, if that doesn't work, we can do some major editing of your speed, and you can see it actually work. But isn't that what we wanted it to do? We wanted it facing the operation. The definition is to take off the top face so that everything's smooth. Now we're ready to actually do some machining. All right. So once I notice that it verifies correctly, I can close that window and I can save my file. File, save it, and it will save it right in that folder. And you're all set. It'll save it as an EdgeCam part file with the same name, and everything's good. You think you're ready to try it? Excellent.